So you guys remember last week when I was having some struggles in the gym with having crappy workouts. My energy was not the best. I had to back off on a bunch of weights and I just wasn't feeling very good. Just talking to you guys about pushing through that and knowing that it's okay to back off and in the long term, progress isn't linear, but as long as you're always moving forward. Today, my workout was fantastic. And I know that a lot of it is because I didn't put a bunch of pressure on myself last week. Um, I backed off a little bit and rested a little extra. And I was able to come back like that much better this week. And I want to, again, emphasize and encourage you guys to know that progress is not linear because in my workout in several exercises, I went up in weights and I pulled, and I think the last few sets um, after the warm up sets, I did 185, you guys, for my barbell rows. Granted, they weren't like the prettiest rows I've ever done, but I've never pulled that weight for that many reps ever before. Not only that, but I was able to um, bench and I did five sets of bench, slowly increased the weight and I did 155 for my last set of three, no help whatsoever, and I friggin' touched my chest. And if you followed the channel for a while, you know that I've been working on that for years, working on the mobility and the strength to be able to bench to this point, being a small chested female, um, or just small chested in general, it's it's hard because there's not a lot of area, you know, there's not a lot of volume to reach for, so I have to go down super low. Weights went up in just about everything. My motivation was through the roof. I felt so good. I actually threw in a few extra exercises because I felt so good today. So just let that further encourage you guys to just continue pushing forward, realizing that not every day is gonna be perfect. Not every day, not every workout is going to be like today. These types of workouts are somewhat rare. I do enjoy my training all of the time, but the workouts where I'm able to increase in everything and my motivation is through the roof, I'm feeling like freaking unicorns and sunshine and rainbows. That It's not going to happen all the time. So when it does happen, I enjoy it and I take advantage of it and I push through um, and I talk to people in the gym and I hope to encourage others too. And I talk to you guys and I hope to encourage you guys. So I just wanted to let that affirm last week's little, um, message <laughs> and word of encouragement that progress is still going to happen. Even if you have a bad day, even if you have a bad week, even if you're off track for the holidays, just keep pushing through, do what you can. Thanks. Guys, don't grocery shop hungry. I'm so terrible at planning this out. Two o'clock and I haven't eaten since breakfast and I had a really good workout. So I was like starving walking through this store. I was this close to buying a Lenny and Larry's cookie. Decided to do the hashtag clean eating thing. <laughs> I got this little tray of carrots and celery and hummus and these sad little pita crumbles. Whatever. 14 carbs, nine fat, three protein, three fiber. So probably a little bit better for my body and my macro goals um, than a Lenny and Larry's cookie. I'm gonna eat this on the way home and go unload the groceries. I got a pretty good haul, so I decided I'm gonna show you guys that in about three seconds. You might notice I'm wearing my new uh, lip color that y'all saw in the grocery haul. My True Nutrition order came in today and I'm friggin' pumped because they have an eggnog flavor. This is a blend. It's 50% uh, pea protein isolate 
and 50% rice protein concentrate. I just do the blends now because I like to get fancy. It helps my muscles a little better. It doesn't, it just, I like the blend. So I got it in, I think I did heavy flavor intensity, but you guys, this smells like eggnog. It smells like eggnog. It smells freaking delicious. So I'm gonna make up some sludge and show you guys uh And you guys saw how simple protein sludge is. Um, you can get fancy with it if you want, but the basic recipe is just water and protein. So I've got my sludge mixed up. It smells delicious. That's pretty eggnoggy. That's surprising. That's good. That's really good. This would be really good if you mixed a bit of the eggnog flavor with some salted caramel. Mm. Oh yeah, you should try this. You should really try this. You guys don't know, I have the information in my description box below. I have like a small discount code just because I, that's all the protein that I use is true nutrition now. So you can enter BBF 100 and it gets you like a small discount, which I mean, it's a couple bucks. Why not? Right? Yeah. It's only a temporary flavor though. So make sure and try it out if you want to. I'm going to eat this. Chips. Hey, I'm filming. Don't curse. <laughs> Shady Grove. Let's see what we can find. I get some chips, salsa. Mom's sister-in-law, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, there's like no line. Oh. It's a lot of walking. We haven't even gotten through it yet. See the little, oh, it's one of those spot things. Where are If you eat bad candy and you have nightmares. Yeah, it's like a nightmare. <laughs> I know. Ew. <laughs> so gingerbread man's normal. Going on, so she's sitting here looking guilty. Matt says, Can you tell what Sophie did to the room? Looking around, looking around. 
I see this. Not quite sure what happened. It's just What the hell, Sophie? <laughs> Sophie? What did you do? I guess she's trying to get up here and... But there's no claw marks, and so it's like she just fell off and like what? wrapped up in her, in her girder. I don't know. She would do that. This is why we can't have anything nice, Buzz. This is why we can't have anything nice. He's nice. Yeah. Why is Sophie so fat? Do you know? <laughs> you just want to go to bed, don't you? You look so sleepy. Sleepy. Oh. <laughs> Post-workout meal is half of a block of extra firm tofu with some cinnamon, a little bit of Walden Farm syrup, and two tablespoons of better than peanut butter spread. And I am eating this in my car, and I'm going to talk to you guys while I eat. I wanted to update you guys. Really good. My macros, workouts, cardio, and my goals. So I wanted to update you guys on that. So right now... Um, I'm still working with my coach, William Grazio, because I need that accountability. Um, any of you guys that do have a coach or any of my clients know that it's one thing to know what to do, but it's another thing to stay consistent with your goals and accountability. I spend so much time working on other people's programs and helping other people be accountable because I'm usually, I'm the first one to fall to the wayside when it comes to staying on track with macros and things like that. So once I have that accountability um, and somebody to tell me what to do because I don't want to <laughs> figure it out for myself, I ha I'm still working with my coach. I'm still tracking my macros, but honest to goodness, this week has been shit. <laughs> This week has seriously been my most inconsistent week for a long time. And it's because we had our party on Friday. You guys saw that video where I talked about going overboard, which is fine. Saturday, we went to another party. Probably went over my intake on that day as well. And last night, we went to Trail of Lights, as you guys saw. And uh, we went out to eat. We were going to go to Chewy's, and I had it planned into my intake to get the veggie enchiladas and refried beans and things like that. Um, and then the wait at Chewy's was about an hour. So we walked two restaurants over to a place called Shady Grove in Austin. Never been there before. I had no idea what vegan options were going to be like. So Matt and I asked the waitress and there were like two options. They had a veggie plate, which was really, really sad by the way. Matt got it and it was just like not at all worth the money. I got a veggie sandwich, which was like <clears throat> grilled or sauteed. Um, eggplant, zucchini, carrots, things like that on this really, really delicious bread. We had chips and salsa, and I was so hungry by the point that we got to the restaurant that I ate a ton of chips and salsa, like a ton. And so, of course, the sandwich was like low in protein, really high in carbs, and so my macros were already all off. And then we were walking on the trail, and they had kettle corn, which is vegan, and I was like pumped because one of my favorite things ever and we got this bag we ordered a medium and it was only six dollars and the bag was like this big and so we're walking with my family and having our popcorn and enjoying the night and definitely went over my intake on that <laughs> so one thing is i'm consistent with my workouts i'm very consistent with those but moral of the story wanted to tell you guys my goals, my macro goals right now, five lower days and two higher days. And on my five lower days, I aim for 165 grams of protein, 55 grams of fat, and 170 grams of carbs, which is the lowest my carbs have been in a long time, even though it's really not that low. My two high days, I've got 55 grams of fat, 155 protein, and 325 carbs, which those days are awesome. So Friday, let's see. Thursday and Friday were my high carb days this week and that's why I kind of left myself high and dry in terms of having some wiggle room for last night and the other party that we went to, but that's okay. So I've got those and then I'm currently doing, I lift five or six days a week depending on my schedule. We climb two to three days a week and then I've got two hit sprint sessions at six sprints each. So I'm only doing two days of consistent cardio 
which is nice. Um, I am losing fat when I'm consistent. Up until this week, I have been slowly leaning out, which is nice because it's been a really, really easy, enjoyable process. Uh, and since I started my Lean Not So Mean Vegan series at the beginning of the summer, you guys have seen it's been like swirls and twirls and ups and downs and backwards and forwards. But long term, I have made progress and I've worked towards the specific goals that I have, which is great. So I don't plan on stopping at this point because things are just so enjoyable for me right now. I'm going to keep going. Um, and I'm just going to keep trying. So I've talked to you guys so many times about the holidays and staying as consistent as you can with all of the parties and everything going on. And it can be done. It very well can be done. You just can't be perfect. You can't aim for perfection. And if you're not prepping for a show, there's no need to. There's no need to stress about eating a few handfuls of chips or many handfuls of kettle corn. Just enjoy the holidays with your loved ones. Please enjoy them and don't let food come in the way of enjoying yourself or, you know, spending time with them. Please do not let that happen. So that's where I'm at with my macros and my cardio. Um, if you guys have any questions about what I'm currently aiming to do or what I'm, what I'm currently doing with my macros or cardio, leave them below. I'd love to answer them either in the comment section or in a future video. Um, I'm going to finish this real quick and then I'm going to head can't decide if I'm going to head home or work from a coffee shop this morning, but I'm going to do that and I will see you guys soon. And by the way, this video is probably going to be a little long. So if you have made it this far, let me know and hit that thumbs up because I really appreciate you tuning in. You guys are the best. You seriously are the bomb.